we're going to find the greatest common factor, or the GCF, of the following three algebraic expressions. 12x cubed y squared, 18x to the fifth y to the fourth, 36x to the fourth y cubed. I'm going to factor each one of these monomials out, and I'm going to use those factors to help me find the GCF. Let's start off with the 12x cubed y squared. I factor 12. I know two numbers that give me 12 if I multiply are 4 times 3. And two numbers that give me 4 if I multiply are 2 times 2. I'm going to cross out the 4, just so that I know that that's not part of the prime factorization. Just 2 times 2 times 3 make up the prime factorization of 12. Now I'm going to factor out the x cubed. x to the third is made up of three factors of x. x times x times x. y squared is made up of two factors of y. y times y. So I can see there that the expression 12 x to the third y to the second is made up of the factors 2 times 2 times 3 times x, times x, times x, times y, times y. Now let's factor out our next term. Two numbers that give me 18 if I multiply would be 2 times 9, and two numbers that give me 9 if I multiply are 3 times 3. I'm going to cross out the 9 because the 9 has been factored out. Now we're going to factor out the x to the fifth. That's just going to consist of five factors of x. One, two, three, four, five. And y to the fourth is going to consist of four factors of y. One, two, three, four. I'm going to write out those factors right below the factors of the 12x cubed y squared. And I'm going to try to line up any common factors as I'm writing down these factors. Okay, so these are the only common, oh, and I got a couple of y's here. These are the common ones. Okay, so I wrote, I was able to write down 1, 2, 1, 3, 1x, 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 so three factors of x, and then two y's. Now, I still have to write down all those leftover factors over here at the end. I'm just going to write them down over here. I had an extra 3, and then I had a few extra factors of x, and I had a few extra factors of y. Those are not common factors, so they're not going to be making a part of my GCF. But I like to still write them down anyways, because you never know. You might want to end up finding the least common multiple, and then those factors might come in handy. All right, the next factor, or the next term, 36x to the fourth y cubed. Let's factor out 36. 6 times 6 is 36, and each 6 can be factored into 2 times 3. Now let's go ahead and cross out the 6's. We're going to have x to the 4th factor out into 4 factors of x. 1, 2, 3, 4. And y cubed is going to factor out into three factors of y. There. Okay, once again, I'm going to try to line up the common factors. And I'm going to try to line them up under the same columns where I had my other um, common factors line up. So that's where I'm going to try to line them up, if there are any. So right here where I have these twos lined up already, that's the first spot I'm going to try to line up any common factors. And I notice that I do happen to have a factor of 2 in that 
factorization. So let's write it down right here, right below there. So I know that this 2 and this 2 from the 18 and this 2 from the 12, they all share a common factor of 2, so that's definitely going to be part of my GCF. I also see there's another 2 there, but since the 18 didn't have another 2, it's not going to be part of my GCF. I also see there's a 3 there. So this 3, that's right here, maybe I should use a different highlight color because I've already been using the yellow. Let's use a green. I'm going to line it up under this pair of 3's because I know that's going to be part of my GCF since all three of these terms shared a common factor of 3. So let's write it right there. They're all going to have that common factor of 3. And that it looks like it has a leftover 2 and a leftover 3. We'll write those at the end. Let's see the X's. Oh good, there are some common X's. So let's use those. So I see here 1, 2, 3 to line up with this pair of X's. That's 1, 2, 3. So let's line those three up below the, these X's. And that's going to make up some more common factors. And then I've also got some Y's. It looks like I'm only going to have two possible common factors here of Y's. I got a pair of Y's here and I got a pair of Y's here. So just two of those Y's will be able to be part of the GCF here. Okay, I have a few leftover factors here. It uh, looks like I already wrote this leftover factor of 2. You see, I wrote it right there. So I'm not going to copy that 2 again. I haven't written this 3, so I'm going to write down the 3 right there. I haven't written down this x, so I'm going to write down this x right there. And I haven't written down this y, so I'll write down this y right there. Okay. Okay, so the leftover factors, I really have no use for those when I'm finding a GCF. But they are very useful if I need to find an LCM, a least common multiple. So I always like to write those down. So that way if I need to find an LCM, it, they're there, they're easy for me to access and quite quick and simple to find my least common multiple if I need it. I don't need it right now. So right now we're just going to use all of the factors that I've highlighted the common factors between all three terms. So it looks like my GCF of these, these three terms is going to be 6 x cubed y squared. That's going to be my GCF of these three terms. Okay, we're done.